Yeah, thanks, John. Um, well, you know, there, in our business in particular, there are some good bits and the bad bits, you know, definitely keeping with the theme um, uh, that Alan was mentioning. But the really good thing for us is that the good bits are in the, by far the biggest part of our business and the bad bits are in the smallest part. So I've just circled around the country. I'm going to start with the bad bits first. Perth um, is diabolical. Uh, your uh, vacancy rate in Perth is around 25%, so that's literally one in every four floors uh, are empty. We also agree that there are further job losses to come, so it's not a good story. Rents this year have fallen about 20%, and that was off a low base, so bad. Um, and what, what turns that around, actually don't know at this point. Um, Brisbane, um, yeah, Brisbane has suffered obviously during the, um, uh, the, the mining downturn as well and also suffered um, as a result of some of the decisions, political decisions. Um, 15,000 public servants were sacked by um, the Newman government. But thankfully it has a diverse economy and thankfully it has a Labor government now. Um, so 10,000 uh, public servants have been hired back. Um, so <laughs> you've seen what was a really big basket case turn around quite nicely. Um, it still has vacancy um, approaching the, fifth, uh, the 20 per cent mark, which is high, obviously. But we're seeing that rate of um, we're seeing a good year of absorption this year. We're seeing the rate of rental fall slow. So it was only off about three per cent this year. Um, so you know, broadly speaking, getting a bit more confident about Brisbane. Melbourne. Melbourne has, is always a good office market. Um, its um, vacancy number was mid-teens not long ago, or, or early, early teens, um, but that has come in to around the 8% mark. Um, the unusual feature with Melbourne, though, is rental growth never really take off, and that's primarily because of the, the supply response and the ability for there to be this massive supply response through Docklands and other sites. Um, but the real good news story in our business is Sydney. Um, Sydney uh, has strong fundamentals. The New South Wales government is doing a lot of um, investing in a lot of infrastructure. Um, that's you know resulting in a lot of lawyers being hired, um, a lot of accountants being hired, engineers. Um, so it has strong underlying fu fundamentals. It's also basically had a little bit of a, um, a big tailwind really thrown upon it as a result of stock, stock withdrawals from the Sydney market. So those stock withdrawals are for apartment buildings and also for the, the new metro train line that's being built. So you're, you're looking at a, at a market in Sydney where um, vacancy is currently around 7%, but most people are forecasting a vacancy rate of between 3 to 4%. This year alone, 17% effective rental growth. Um, so basically rents have gone up 17%. Um, we're anticipating effective rental growth in the next two to three years to be around the 10% mark. So rents are really going to go up and vacancy is going to be in that sort of mid 3% mark. So there virtually is no space um, in Sydney at the moment unless you want to go to Barangaroo. Um, 